hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install flutter onto your mac so for that you just have to go to your favorite browser and source for flutter and just go into this post link from flutter.dev so just click here and click onto this docs and just click on this get started click on mac os and here you can see the documentation for installing the uh, flutter onto your mac so the first thing is you just have to uh, have the operating system a uh, mac os and version 10.14 or later and you just need to have the dixi space of 2.8 gb and then you have to install the git and xcode as well so first let me install the git so to install git just open the uh, spotlight source by just typing command and space and source per terminal and now to install git so we just have to install the homebrew so for that just type homebrew and just go to this post link from brew.sh and just copy this command from here so once you copy this command just paste inside the terminal so let me just paste inside terminal and just click enter and enter the password of your mac and just click on enter or return so this should now start installing the homebrew onto your system so once this is done so here you can see the next step here so you just need to copy these two lines of command so let me just select these two lines and right click and copy and just press and command and b to paste and just click enter so this should add this command so like you know opt homebrew and brew environment into the dot jet profile so once this is done so let me again go to the uh, flutter documentation here and here you can see the uh, flutter sdk so we just need to download this flutter sdk so here you can see the option for intel and here you can see the option for apple silicon so since i'm using the macbook m2 so i would be going with the apple silicon so just click here so this should start downloading the gif file so let's wait for it to complete first so once this is downloaded let me just go into the folder and let me just drag and drop into the desktop or just you know you can just keep it wherever you want and let me just double click onto this zip file to extract it so once this is extracted so let me just go into this flutter and inside bin so we just have to copy the path of this bin so before that let me just again uh, move to the documentation here and you can see so we just have to add this flutter tool path so to do that so we just have to go to the terminal again and here so we just have to open the dot z profile so for that you just have to uh, type nano and just type dot z profile and just click enter so this should open this uh, dot z profile and this is the path which is just added while installing the homebrew so just come just below here and you just need to uh, copy this export path so let me just copy this path from here and go into the terminal and just type command and b to paste and instead of this path so we just have to copy the path of the uh, flutter bean or uh, which we have just extracted so let me just go into the finder and i have extracted inside desktop and inside the flutter and inside the bin so you can just go into this bin and right click and you just have to press on the option key of your keyboard so if you just press an option so you can see so the uh, copy bin as path name so you just need to copy this path and just come inside here and let me just uh, clear this from here and until here and we just need to press command and b to paste so you can see this is the path where i have just extracted my flutter and inside the bin so once you do that so we just have to uh, press and control key and o at the same time just type control and o to write out and click enter and just type control and x to exit and now if i just type cat dot z profile and just click enter so you can see the export path and path of the flutter has been added now to refresh the environment so you can just type source and just type dot z profile and just click enter so this should now refresh the uh, environment as well so let me just close this one from here and once you do that so we just have to uh, type flutter doctor to determine if there is something to, uh, some, something remaining to install so just type enter so let me just click and allow so here you can see so this is saying welcome to the flutter so let's wait for it to complete 
So if you just scroll up here, so you can see, so we have to install the Android Studio, which we will do later. And before that, we have to install this Xcode. So to install Xcode, so there, there might be some link here, or you can directly go from here as well. So let me just uh, scroll down here. So here you can see to install the Xcode. So there is web download. So let me just go into the web download and you, we will directly get the option to download here. So you, you can just click on download and click on the website and you just need to enter the uh, Apple ID. So once you log in, so if you just scroll down, so you will be able to see this Xcode 14.3 here. So we just need to download this Xcode GIF. So this is 7.1 GB. So this might take some time to download. One eternity later. So once this Xcode is downloaded, so let me just go into the finder. And if I just double click onto this, so this should start extracting this GIF file. So again, this might take some time to extract. So once the Xcode is extracted, so let me just drag and drop into the applications. So once you extract the Xcode and drag it into the application, so let me just close it again and again go to the documentation. And so now we can uh, launch the simulator. So before launching the simulator, so we just have to use these two commands. So let me just copy these commands from here and Again, go to the terminal and paste it inside here by just pressing command and V and just enter the password of your Mac and just click enter. So this should now install all the things that are necessary for running the simulator and just click enter. And we just need to press in Q and just click enter and this should be done again. So, so now to open the simulator, so you can just type open hyphen A and just type simulator and just click enter. So unable to find the application name saying something like this just because we haven't opened the Xcode until now. So to do that, so let me just go to the launch pad and open the Xcode. Just simply open the Xcode, enter the password of your Mac and just click on install. So here you can see, so the Xcode is properly open here. So if I just close this one and again type the same command open hyphen a simulator and just click enter. So now this should launch the simulator. So here you can see, so this is iPhone 14 Pro Max. So this is how you can open the iOS simulator. So I would let us show how you can uh, do the same thing with Android Studio and open the Android simulator. So before that, so let's uh, wait for it to open. So here you can see, so the iOS simulator has been successfully opened here so let's install the android studio so and then i will show you how you can run on both uh, this ios simulator and as well as the android simulator so for that let me just go into the browser and search for android studio and just click enter and you just need to go into this second link so developer android.com and here you can see so the download android studio and if you just scroll down, so just click here. And since I'm uh, downloading for MacBook M1, uh, so you just go with the Apple chip. So just click here and just download in the downloads folder. So once this is done, so let me just so in Finder. And if I just double click onto this DMG file, so, so this will open the installer here. So we just need to drag and drop this Android Studio into the applications. So let me just drag and drop here. And so this is copying the Android Studio to applications. So let's wait for it to complete. So once this is done, so let me just close everything from here. And if I just go into the launch pad and here you can see, so Android Studio has been already installed here. So let's wait for it to open and just click on open and do not import the setting. Click OK and on send. So click on next and it's standard installation. So you can just go with the dark theme and just click on next. So you just need to uh, accept the license agreement. Also click here and also accept the license agreement. Click on finish. So this might take some time to install all the components here. So I think all the components are downloaded. So let me just click on finish. So once you install this Android Studio, so you just have to install one plugin. So just go into this plugin and just go into this marketplace here and search for flutter and just click enter 
and just click on install and this will at the same time install the dart language plugin as well so just click on install so once you do that you just have to restart your id so just click on restart so once you restart your id so now you can already see so there is an option for new flutter project so just click on here and you just need to choose this flutter and this will automatically detect the sdk path and just click on next and you, you can just give the name something like my app or you can just give according to your preference and here you just need to give the organization so let me just give something like code with arjun and you can just give your name as well here so just click on create so this should now create a new flutter project so here you can see so you just have to choose this project and if i just go into this it's not android so you just have to click on project and if i just go inside this library and inside here so you can see the main dart here so this is the main dart file from where we have to start writing the code so i guess this is not working so let me just quit this one and again just copy the same command this open hyphen a simulator and again go to the terminal and paste it inside here and just click enter so this should open this iphone 14 pro max simulator so once this simulator is opened so let me again go to the android studio and to run this application what we can do is we can simply go into this terminal here and just type flutter and just type run and just click enter so this should now run this application so if i just go into this simulator so here you can already see the app is successfully running here so this is how you can test your uh, app into the ios simulator so let me just close this one so now i will show how you can do the same thing in your android simulator as well so for that so you will be able to see this device manager here so just go into this device manager and here you can see so the pixel 3a has been already uh, set up here so you just need to simply click here onto this launch this abd manager so here you can see so this is already running here so let me just minimize this one so this is running here so this might take some time to start so here you can see the running device is pixel 3a so let me just minimize it from here so this will run here so in this tab so here you can see the pixel 3a also has been started successfully so now to run this application again we can go into the terminal and just type the same command flutter run and just click on enter so this time so this will run inside this pixel 3a so the device selected is this pixel 3a so let's wait for it to uh, run so here you can see so the build is successful and it's installing the app so here you can already see the sign of this flutter so this might take some time to you know like open so here you can see so if i just minimize here so this is the flutter app which is running here so this is one way you can run it by using the terminal so let me just press and control and z to quit the terminal or you can just simply press here so onto this run main the dart if i just click here so this should also run the application and from here so you can just use the hot reload as well so if you change something here and just save it so it will just reflect here so you don't need to restart or just type flutter run every time so let's wait for it to install here so so here you can see so the app is running successfully so if you just scroll up here and if i just change this flutter demo home page into something like code with origin and if i just type command and s to save so this should now change here so you can see all it's already changed here so you don't need to read on the application so you can just simply change whatever you want so if i just change this you have pushed this into something like demo changes and if i just save this one so this should instantly change here so this is how the hot reload also works so this is how you can install the flutter into your mac and also run your first project using the ios simulator as well as android simulator at the same time using the android studio and flutters thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one